Grab a cold one and get ready for a review of Tom Daniels Beer Wagon. Coming up next. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hey everybody, it's Trevor Slescu again, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And hey, have you ever visited our store online? Check it out through this video. Anyway, today we're here for another groovy model kit review out of the 60s again with the Tom Daniels Beer Wagon. Now, this is a very cool kit and I know a lot of you guys have one of these in your collection. And have you ever built one? If so, please leave a comment down below in the descriptions. And now, without further ado, let's go down and see what's in the box. Now it's time for another groovy review of the Tom Daniels Beer Wagon Kit by Monogram. And this is another one of these classic reissues that have come out many, many times. And let's start by looking at the box. Now this kit came out as a re-release in 1995 by Ravel Monogram. And it says this model features the following. Beer Wagon is a nostalgic custom show car designed by Tom Daniel. Custom interior and barrel load, Goodyear slicks and deep dish mag wheels, decals with decorative graphics, molded in yellow and brown and plated parts, and black vinyl tires. And gives you a nice cool picture of it from both angles, three quarter front and three quarter rear shots. And there's a side view of it. And again, some more detailed. Now this is a skill level skill level two kit. <laughs> so what does skill level two mean? Well, it means it's more challenging and usually requires glue and paint. Choose a model that's right for you. All monogram kits are authentically detailed but require different levels of skill for assembly and decoration. These definitions will help you choose which level is best for you. <laughs> All right, so that is the box itself. And now without further ado, let's take a quick look at what's in it, and then we'll go into a little more detail. So we've got some nice chrome bits, and our instruction sheet, our decals here, some more chrome, Lots of chrome on this kit. Then we have our uh, body components here. Our barrels. Roll out the barrel. And then of course our wheels. And now let's go and look at these parts in depth. Joseph Bugman and the Drunk Dwarfs of Dingledorf approve of this model. Now we begin with a quick look at our instructions. And I need to zoom the camera up because it's quite a big instruction sheet. And it has the beer wagon in 124 scale. And we also have a bunch of write up here talking about that it was a Mac Bulldog truck, which was, of course, modified with a box rail frame to support a Cobra engine hydro combination, which feeds into a Mac transmission. And a very more. Very more more things okay and then we have a paint call out sheet tells you the colors and the numbers to use which i think uh oh recommend above pro modeler paints so it's a pro modeler checklist and then it gets into how the engine goes together now the tom daniels kits are quite simplistic they're not a fully detailed model by any means but they do give you the overall impression of what's going on. So of course you have just the engine bottom and your exhaust pipes and that sort of thing. No oil pan or anything that's molded to the underneath as we will see. And it gets into your suspension and how it all goes together. Your tires, very simple to follow. A lot of the Tom Daniels kits are good for beginner modelers or people that are just gone past the snap together point but still want something quite simple as you can see there's quite a lot of neat things going on in here and then it wraps up with the cab going together and all the components where the chains go for your wagon and building your barrels 
Very cool. Now we take a quick look at our deck all sheet. And as you can see, it's pretty simplistic. There's only five deck alls on here. The beer wagon uh, advertisements, your instrument cluster, the Mac logo, and the 1927 license plate. Hey everybody, it's Trevor breaking into the video again. I got a little bit of uh, some history for you guys that you might find interesting. The Tom Daniels beer wagon is a really cool kit, but did you know that in the 90s there was a problem with beer advertisements on model kits? That's right. A lot of parents got upset because they believed that their kids might become alcoholics by building a model such as the beer wagon. So, in response, Monogram relabeled the beer wagon as the RC Cola truck. And if you ever are on eBay or whatever, you can actually find that model. So we're actually thankful that Ravel and Monogram have re-released this kit under its original beer wagon logo. And now, back to our review. Now we'll examine the body parts here. And the first component we have is the front of the truck, which is molded as a one piece. Now in the reality of it, it would hinge open there. But as you can tell, there are some nice details, even though this is a simplistic kit. The louvers on the hood, for instance, and the radiator is mounted here on the original Mack truck. The engine was seated backwards, much like the French uh, Citroëns of that era, or of earlier. Looks like cup holders there. <laughs> okay, we will move along. And here we have the fender assembly and the sides of the truck. There's where your 5 cent beer wag uh, deck hole would go. And there is the big fender arrangement. And as I was saying, the undercarriage has the engine and transmission all in there. All you need to do is drop the top of the engine onto those four pegs. And there are quite a few mold uh, seams, injector pin marks I should say, that need to come out of here. And a good way to get this one down here is by using a number 16 X-Acto knife. Sort of a chisel head bit. There are a lot of injector marks, so if you want a smooth frame, you must sand those out. It's also a good idea to send them out underneath here, in case your tires hit that. And there are some barrels here. Nice detail on this, considering that this kit came out in 1967, right around when the Hot Wheel cars were coming out. Unfortunately, there is no beer wagon Hot Wheel car. However, there are some more of the chains for the stake bed truck. And I believe these are also part of that stake bed truck as well. And I think that is the driver's seat. There's also a barrel. Then here we have our cab and all the components. It's got the iron cross window in there. There's the engine block with the exhausts molded in place. Oh, no, you're not sitting on the barrel. There's the bucket seats there and the floorboards, some nice pedals on them. I do believe they would go this way for your uh, left hand drive. And again we've got injector marks there. And we have a copyright molded in underneath here saying 1967. And finally we have our stake bed truck got a top and a bottom. This would be the top. And luckily here there's no injector pin marks in that wood grain, which is quite a problem with some of the other model kits. Actually, considering this is very nice because there isn't any underneath either. So, setting that aside, we now look at our chrome details. And we do get two chrome part trees on this model. And here we can see we've got some really cool mag wheels. And of course, your brakes and wheel back. Now this is a nice steering wheel here. It's like the real Mack trucks. And of course, we've got some lanterns on the back. And overall, the chrome detail is really nice on here. Not a lot of flash either, that I see. You've got all your custom suspension bits 
and the front dropped axle and linkages so that's very nice and on to our second chrome here we have the gigantic gears because the transmission was more of a transfer case sort of deal back in 1927 on the Mack trucks so your engine and all that would come off onto this gear and then there'd be these chains going to your rear, rear wheels and of course we've got more of the ladder frame suspension components as well and next we get into our tires so here we have the rubber for the back wheels and these are the monogram two-piece rear tires there is an indentation here you cut these ones out you turn them over and then they fit inside like that like that <laughs> and you've got your two-piece tire and for the front we also have these other Goodyear tires these are smaller than the rear ones there is some flash on mine so I have to take them off with the black sandpaper but these are nice for your front wheels and last but not least we're gonna roll out the barrel with some barrels now these are really nicely detailed they are two-part barrels so you would clip off one and flip it over and glue it to the other side there the nice details got the rings in them and there's some really excellent wood grain effects on them which hopefully the camera will pick up for you and yeah you're all ready for your kegger party and that concludes our look at the tom daniels beer wagon by monogram I hope you enjoyed this review of the Tom Daniels Beer Wagon. It was really great fun to open up the lid and show all you guys what's in the box. And say, if you really enjoyed seeing what was in the box and you wish to thank me for opening the lid on one of these before you went out and bought one, you can do that by visiting us on Patreon. I've got an account there and it's very simple to actually leave us a little tip. It's sort of like a internet tip jar. And uh, if you appreciate what I do, please go over there and visit. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel where you can see more great reviews. And hey, you should see what's coming up next week. It's really cool. And speaking of reviews that we've done, make sure you check out this video, this video, this video, and this video. And until next time, happy model building, you crazy guys. <laughs>